Ruth and Naomi, a story from the Bible. Ruth was the friend of the whole village. Now how can that be? How can one person be a friend to the whole village? Well, Ruth was kind. And Ruth was a very good listener. If you needed to cry, Ruth. If you needed to talk, where would you go? Ruth. If you needed a hug, yeah, Ruth. The children loved her, the grown-ups cared for her, and the old people as well. And Ruth had one very good friend who lived in a house on the edge of the village, and her name was Naomi. And every day, Ruth would go to Naomi's house and they'd have supper together. Ruth would sit down and look at Naomi and smile and say, Naomi, would you tell me a story? And Naomi would ask, what about? Oh, you know, tell me a story about when, when you were a little girl in the little town of Bethlehem. And Naomi said, okay. Naomi would wander off in her memory and tell Ruth a story of when she was a girl running, walking, skipping, jumping, back in the little town of Bethlehem. She was happy then. The next evening, Ruth asks again, Naomi, tell me a story of when you were a little girl in Bethlehem. Okay, another story. Oh, the trees, climbing the trees. Evening after evening, that's how they would spend them. And one evening when Ruth came over, Naomi was very excited. What's going on? I've just made a decision. I'm very happy about it. What? I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. I'm going back to the little town of Bethlehem. You're going to go back? Yes, I'm going back. I'm going back. Naomi, you can't go back. That's, that's too hard. You're old now. You need to stay here now. I mean, you can travel back like we do every night. Travel back in your stories. But that's too far to go. And Naomi said, then you don't understand, Ruth. It's not the same. It's not the same telling a story about walking down the street and really walking down the street or talking about the trees and really seeing the trees and smelling the smells. I can't do that unless I go home. And I wanna go home. And Ruth said, well, if you really need to go home, I'll go with you. You'll need someone. What? If you go, I'll go. What, said Naomi? And Ruth sang, Wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me, my friend. I have got you. Wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me, and I have got you. But Ruth, you have a life here. You can't go. You can't go. Oh, yes, I can. Wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me, my friend. I've got you. Wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me, my friend. I've got you. Really, really? Really, really, 
let's pack you up right now and then I'll go home and pack up myself and we'll go tomorrow. We'll leave tomorrow. What do you say? And Naomi said yes. Oh yes, oh yes, yes. Naomi said yes. And Ruth packed her up and Ruth went back home and Naomi smiled thinking about her good friend Ruth. And she went to bed that night with a song in her heart. Wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me, my friend, I've got you. Wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me, and I've got you. And the next morning, there was Ruth ready to go. And they started traveling. And as they traveled, they talked. They walked and talked and walked and talked about anything and everything. You know how you can do when you're walking, traveling. It's easy to talk. And that's what they did, walking and talking, walking and talking. And they came up over the hill to the little town of Bethlehem. And Naomi said, I am home. I am home, Ruth. I am home. I am home. I am home. Let me show you. And the stories came alive. And Ruth saw why Naomi needed to be home. And they found a little house next to a cornfield. And it was perfect. Because in those times, and still now, the farmers there, well, you know, there may always be someone hungry. And so they would leave part of their crops out. So if someone was hungry, they could stop by and pick something from the field. And so Ruth would go to the corn field every day and gather corn and bring it back for them to eat at supper. Now this farm belonged to a farmer named Boaz. And once or twice, he saw Ruth picking corn. In fact, he saw her every evening. From his window, she didn't see him. But he asked his workers, who's that woman? I don't know her. She's there every evening. Oh yes, her name is Ruth. She brought Naomi back home. Naomi wanted to come back home and so Ruth brought her. And they live in the little house there near your fields. And every night, evening, well, Ruth picks some corn and that's what they have. That is a good friend, that Ruth. You should make it easier for her. Leave a little extra corn on the ground. Yes, do that. And that's what they did. And Boaz thought of it some more and he thought, maybe I can help. So he went. And he didn't tell her he was the farmer who owned the field. He just said, need some help? And she said, well, I don't need some help, but that would be great, thank you. And they started gathering corn together. And as they worked, they talked. And you know how it is when you work and talk and work and talk. You can talk about anything and everything. And the next evening, Boaz was there again. And the next evening, and the next evening, and in the next evening, Boaz was there again, and again, and again, talking and gathering corn, and talking. And they fell in love. And one evening, Boaz said, Ruth, I have fallen in love with you. I want to say something more. And she said, yes. And he sang, wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me, my friend. I have got you. Wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me. If you'll say yes, do you agree? 
And she said, oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I would love us to be together. And I want you to meet Naomi, the wonderful Naomi. And so Ruth brought Boaz over to their house and introduced Naomi to Boaz. And before long, Ruth and Boaz got married. They moved into his big house, but someone came with them, a very good friend, an old woman named Naomi. And that's the story of friendship and care. Wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me, my friend. I've got you. Wherever you go, I will go too. You've got me, and I've got you.